And here we go, Chris Harris Sulphur Tools playing Hollywood Movie Studio. This is a game with no graphics, really, and no sound. So it's gonna be probably really boring, honestly. But here we go, new game. Okay, so the object of this game is to basically release a bunch of movies and make money off of it. I'm, I'm gonna come up with six original idea movies, and then I'm also gonna, like, buy six movies that they've already made, and, and we're just gonna go from there and, and, and release 12 movies in one year and see how it goes. Uh, I'm just gonna choose these based off of what I think Oh, a love story with the title Dead Man. We're going to buy that one. Okay. Here, here's one we're not going to do. It's Bad Breath the Musical. But it, it's, it's a comedy and it's not actually a musical. So that's sounds pretty stupid. Uh, ooh. I like this one. No Lifeguard on Duty. A stalker movie. We're buying this one, definitely. I think this one's going to be cool. The, the, the Understudy s Swan Song. That's a, and it's an action movie. We need, we always need action movies. An action adventure movie at that. Yeah, we're gonna go with Cruise Ship, a thriller erotic movie. Naturally, with all these movies, every single character has to be naked in it, according to this, this nudity thing, so, uh... Ooh! Ooh, look at this! The, the 21 year old male loser, uh, gets to keep his clothes on, so... Good luck to that guy who got cast in it. Here we go. This one is, a is a definite one we're gonna have to buy. It's titled Space Freaks. It's a drama tearjerker comedy. It takes place in a post-nuclear wasteland, and the lead is a 57-year-old male and a 52-year-old female, and uh, the villain's a 52-year-old male as well. So I'm sure that everyone is going to flock to see this movie. Yeah, we're, we're going with this one too. It's a cop movie called Summer Lover with a 58-year-old female cop and a 50-year-old female buddy cop and it's not a comedy so this this is gonna be and it takes place in Australia how about that you know, this, this is gonna be something so those are my six movies that I bought now I'm gonna come up with like six ideas of my own <sighs> let's see here well we need to make a superhero uh, best way to make a superhero is to just for me to look around my room and to find an object and then add the word man after it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Glue Man. Glue Man is the tale of a superhero who makes crime pay by sticking it to them. <laughs> uh, no, you know, here we're, we're changing all around. We're gonna go romance teen, and we're not gonna make it a comedy. We're just gonna make it a teen romance for, for all the little girls to watch, and they're gonna go crazy over it. Actually, we should probably make it 12 to 17, 18 to 35. And then we need a really good title for this movie, like... Like... I love my boyfriend. Now what I, what I found in playing this game is that there's one particular genre that does very very well in America and that's the religious movie. So we're gonna make uh, a great religious movie. We're gonna call it The Bible. Okay so all the writers are writing the first draft screenplays and now we gotta wait Anywhere from 4 to 15 months for these things to get made. Okay, so so some of our movies have uh, have just finished their, uh, their screen thing, so I can, we can start making the production. Oh, uh, well, that looks good. All that looks good. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so we've got that Summer Lover movie. Let's start with this one. Now, what you got to do is you got to audition people. And you want to go for someone who, who is usually a pretty big name actress or actor. And you want someone with the highest thing, like right here, Jodie Foster. She just got a five. So we're gonna we're gonna put Jodie Foster, and I'm just gonna immediately accept her offer. And her her buddy, 
Oh, Halle Berry is interested in being Jodie Foster's buddy. And the fact that... Oh, well... Uh, oh, she did even worse. Oh, you, you know who? Renee Zellweger got a five, so let's... We're going to give Renee the other uh, position there. Anyone else interested in doing this one? No? Okay. Um, see, the, the villain of that movie... Obviously has to be Jet Li, I don't care. I landed on him, he's the villain. And we just got some other random roles. Robert Patrick, we're going to put him in there. I like Robert Patrick, he was in the X-Files. And uh, Tony Todd, he was in the X-Files. Oh, no lifeguard on duty, though. This is going to go into the cast. Oh, only three people? This, this is stupid. I'm going to make Lady Gaga the stalker, because it seems only fitting that that's how it goes. She gets the... She, Lady Gaga is the lifeguard. How about that? No one is going to see that coming. And, uh, in this drama, Tearjerker, called Space Freaks. Oh, I don't... Uh, phew. This is going to be a complete money loser, so I don't care. I'm going to accept all of Quentin Tarantino's uh, demands. And you know what? We're actually going to market this movie at, with the focus being the director, and maybe it's going to work out. Okay, all of my movies have been completed, so let's uh, go to Glue Man. Pump the special effects up a little bit. Glue Man is going to make a career, so I don't want to go for a big person starring in it. I want to go for someone we don't know. Well, someone that is cheaper on the on the list here. And I can't think of a better glue man than Clint Morgan. No idea who he is, but he's gonna be our glue man. This is gonna this is gonna, the Bible's gonna be our biggest movie. It's playing in four thousand two hundred and fifty screens. As I as I did that, I didn't use the mouse cursor to point, I pointed with my finger and hit my monitor so no one could see that. That was really bad. Okay, and and I'm, I'm not going to tell you who is going to be any of the characters until after this is all done. Okay, and then our only other thing is uh, the Great Yule Award. Gotta cast this one. And finally, it will be directed by Ron Howard. Okay, there we go. All of our movies are set for release. Okay, so unfortunately the assassination of Abraham Lincoln is going to take a long time to make and we can't release it in 2019 like all my other movies. So it won't be up for any awards, but since it's an anime, I don't think it could even be qualified for awards. So it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just go with everything else. Now it's uh, time to wait till 2019. No, that wasn't Lady Gaga in my last video. That was the Trapper of Dead by Daylight fame. He's much more scary, so watch out for him. <laughs>